Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a bump chart in Tableau. A bump chart is a type of charts where generally lines are used to display the rank of a given dimension in a given time period. To create that, we are going to use the orders table from the sample Superstore dataset. You can find the link to download this dataset in the description. First, we draw and drop order date into the column. We select entire view. Next, we drag and drop cells into the rows. We drag and drop subcategory into the color. We select rank, so we click on sum of cells. Quick table calculation, we select rank. We click one more time. Compute using subcategory. So this basically means that we are going to rank the different cells of the subcategories depending on each subcategory next we double click on our axis we select reversed so that our rank starts from the top to the bottom next we press ctrl key and we duplicate our sum of cells we go to the second one we click on automatic we select circle we click on the second one, we select dual axis. We right click on the second axis and we select synchronize axis. We right click one more time, we remove the header. We right click on order date, hide field labels. And we can also add the label. So we press control key, we drag and drop some of cells into the label. We click on label, we click on alignment and we select the center. Now we can increase the size of the lines. So click on the first one, size, and we increase the size. So like that to get our bump chart. Now we can also edit that. So we right click format. We remove the grid lines for the rows. For the shading, we select black. For the font, we select everything in white. And here you can also edit your title. As you can see here, for example, for the cup years in 2014, they had the rank 13, 2015 rank 9, 2016 rank 7, 2017 rank number 5. So this will help us to see the products that are gaining positions and losing positions. Okay, this is very helpful when comparing different categories using the ranking one more thing we can also click on color border and you select the white and like that to get our final bump chart which represents rank of cells along subcategory for each year so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial